Hey everyone, it's Angela Nidig, your independent Sensi consultant. Today I'm going to do scent review for you of the new scent, new um, oils that we have for our diffusers and the new scents that we have for our Sensi wax bars. So first of all, I will go ahead and do the um, oils for the diffuser. There's four new ones and I have my little sample kit here. So let's dive into that in no particular order. I'm just going to just say them. Um, this is tea tree. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Sorry. Um, that is one of the four new ones, and it is an essential oil. Now, keep in mind, these are only samples. The actual bottles that you would get when you purchase them are 15 milliliters, so they're much, they're a lot bigger. So, just keep that in mind, that these are just samples. But, um, tea tree. Now, with the oils, their um, names are pretty much descriptive of what the oil smells like, but I'll go ahead and um, tell you the descriptions anyways. Now, let me smell it. Wow, that's different. Um, I don't know if you guys probably have smelt tea tree oil before, but um, Sensi's description is um, two big words that I can't say, so I am just going to put the thing up there and show you that it says rich, earthy, and then um, those two words that I'm not even going to try to say, soothe and refreshes. Okay, so that's our tea tree oil. It's, it's a different kind of scent. And this is an essential oil, which is just one single fragrance. We have essential oil blends as well. They are blended to make different scents. And then we have our... 100% natural oils um, that are a blend of naturally derived ingredients and steam distilled essential oils. And that's what the rest of the three are that I'm going to tell you about. We have apple, orange, raspberry. Oh, I like that. It's very fruity. The description for that is green apple, juicy orange, and the ripest raspberries. So yeah, you would. I don't know if you would say that smelt good together, but I don't know how they do it. But it does. It's a nice scent. So that is apple, orange, raspberry. Our next new scent is caramel, vanilla, strawberry. And the, oh, this may be one of my new favorites. It's a 100% natural oil. Oh, my goodness. I don't know how they make caramel into an oil, but however they did it, it smells really, really good. Um, strawberry ripens rich caramel and vanilla. Wow. Wow. That smells nice, nice, nice. And the last of the new oils is pineapple coconut lime. Luscious pineapple, fresh coconut, lime, and sugar cane. Oh, you guys. I can really smell the coconut. I don't know. I can... if. It can smell a little bit of it all, but I really, the pineapple and coconut are the most that I smell. A tiny little bit of lime. So, that is pineapple, coconut, lime. And those are our four new oils that we have for the spring and summer catalog. So, if you want to smell them in person... Get a hold of me, because I will bring them over, or you can come over, or we'll just have a party and smell them anyways. 
So that that completes our little oils. Now for the spring and summer wax. Of course, we have all of our regulars, our classics, our romance, our um, corner cafe, which is the bakery smells. Those all come came back. So the classics are always there, like the blueberry cheesecake and all that. So I'm not going to go over those because I am going to go over the returning ones from last spring and summer, but I'm not going to sit. Um, do the scent subscription because if you've already smelled them or ordered from last summer, you know what they smell like. So we have our returning spring and summer scents. We have Amazon Rain, Citrus Pop, Cotton Candy Cookie, Crisp Orchard Air, Havana Cabana, Jumpin' Jelly Bean, Kahiko Hula, Lemon Verbana, Lilacs and Violets, Lush Gardenia, Paradise Punch, Pineapple Sorbet, Summer Holiday, Sweet Cucumber, and Strawberry Swirl was a scent of the month. And they actually put it in the catalog. So it's available again. So if you were one of my Strawberry Swirl fans... You can order it again. So that's exciting because that is one of my favorites. Okay, so for the new releases, I have the bars here. So I'm just going to use those. Grab one in no particular order and tell you about it. So our first one that is new for the season is called Passion Fruit Colada. It's purple, and, oh, that's nice. I'm a fruity girl. I like the fruity and food smells, so I, I like this one. Oh, and the description for from Scentsy is, Honeydew and passion fruit surged with sugar cane. And um, sugar cane is our scent trend for 2017. If you want to know a little bit more about that, you can go to scentsyblog.com slash scent trend. Every catalog we have a scent that we use and on a lot of our stuff. So that is one the scent trend for 2017. And the uh, passion fruit colada a lot of you were asking if we had anything with honeydew. So if you are a honeydew fan, it's a really nice scent. like it. I like it. I like it. All right. Next is Mariposa Lily. And it's a, it's a floral scent. Not like too florally, but it is a floral scent. So... It is blooms with sugar, apple, and pineapple slices. So it is floral, but it's also a little fruity. So, and the color of it is a reddish pink, kind of like a rose color. All right, so that's Mariposa Lily. Next we have... Forest Wildflowers, and it is a bluish purpley color, and this one is definitely a floral scent to me. Your nose might smell it different, but I'm going by what my nose does. So it is, it's a floral scent, and it says Neroli. N-E-R-O-L-I and Mountain Sage Ride a Vetiver Breeze. It's kind of clean, but it's florally. So, Forest Wildflowers. The next one is called 
Sheer Woods. And it is a light tannish color, I guess. Ooh. It's kind of a woodsy smell. And I can't place anything else in it right now. So I was going to tell you what Scentsy's description is. Tender violet leaf, sheer sandalwood, and white birch. That's why it's woodsy. So if I have any of my sandalwood friends that like that scent, this will be one that you're going to want to have because it does smell very woodsy. And it's, it's actually really nice. So, that is Sheer Woods. Next is Kiwi Fruit. And it is a green color. And, let's see. Ooh, I see this is a fruity one. This one makes me happy. Kiwi Fruit. Sweet Tart Granada. Spiked with kiwi and sugar cane. That's nice. I like this one. I like it a lot. Kiwi fruit. Next is... Wow. That's a very bright label. Star fruit and peach nectar. I don't know if you can even see the words, but that's what it is. Star fruit and... Pear nectar. Sorry, not peach. Pear nectar. Pear. Well, I can smell the pears. And the nectar. It's kind of a... Yeah, I can smell pear a lot. So, this one is Bright Burst of Star Fruit, Sugar Cane, and... Tangelo. So, that is another fruity scent for my fruity people. Next one is Custard Apple. And it is a light green ish colored wax. Oh boy. Custard apple. I don't know if I'm smelling apples. Maybe a tiny little bit. Sensei's description is pineapple, sugar cane, and mango capture the essence of custard apple. Yeah, I guess a little bit of apple. I can smell the pineapple. That's a nice mixture. So that is custard apple. Next one is Aloha Citrus. And it's a pinkish wax. And it's tropical. Tropical, that's what it is. Tropical. It is a fresh tide of tangerine, jade blossom, and vetiver. I don't know what vetiver is, but so far, all the ones that have vetiver in them, I like them. So, it must be, must be something good. Oh, that makes me want to go to the beach and go on vacation somewhere. Okay. Next one is pistachio ice cream. And it is a brightish green color. And I'm noticing that the label color is matching the wax. Sometimes it doesn't do that. But so far, it is. So, that's cool. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mmm. Mmm. I like it. Oh, that's why I like it. Pistachio cream and coconut garnish vanilla meringue. 
I'm digging the coconut and vanilla together. I like it. Oh, my. I didn't think it would be that, you know, because that good of a smell because of pistachio and ice cream mixed together. But it actually smells really neat. It's got a nice smell to it. So that is pistachio ice cream. And it's not... It's kind of fruity. I don't know. I like it. That's all I'm going to say. It's, it smells good. This one is called Atlantic Air. Now, let's see here. That is a nice clean scent. Clean air is what I'm going to describe it at. And it says, a refined veil of ocean mist, sea salt, and white orchid. Yeah. It smells like the clean breeze on an ocean. Just nice. And it is a light bluish color. Oh, I like that one a lot. Okay, next we have Sweet Amber and Freesia. It's pink. Pink, pink, pink. This one's kind of a florally scent. A little perfumey. And the description is crisp layers of verbena blossom Freesia and Sweet Amber. It's not super florally or super perfumey, but it is... It is perfumey. So, there's Sweet Amber and Freesia. Probably said Freesia wrong. I... Whatever. That's what it is. That one's going to be for last, because I'm saving my favorites for last. The next one is called Summer Sunshine. It's a light peachy orange color. It's like the label almost. You see me rubbing it. If you guys ever haven't, if you didn't know, rubbing the wax warms it up a little bit so you get all the notes that it's made with. So you get a better scent. Ooh. Summer sunshine. Smells like pineapple and coconut bask in warm mandarin glow. That's why I like the pineapple and coconut together too. That's that's nice. That's a tropical. If you ask me, I would say that's a tropical tropical scent. My doggie's looking out the window. She might bark, sorry. It's what she does. I like that. Summer sunshine. Alright. Next is bright and cheery. And it's a lime green color. And ooh. I definitely smell lemon. A creamy sweet lemon Sugar cane and shea butter blend. I love shea butter. I love that we got a scent with shea butter in it. Oh. That's very limey. But then you can smell the other notes as well. So that's a that's a neat one. Bright and cheery. That sounds like something we need. Bright and cheery. So just everybody just be happy. That's the way it should be. In Angela's world, if I could make it happen, everybody would just be happy. Just happy and positive. Next one is Lemon Sorbet. It's a yellowy sunshine color. Oh, yeah. It's lemon. Y'all, I have been out. Some of you have been wanting... A lemon scent although we had some last season but this one's like 
lemon lemon like freshly cleaned house lemon scented goodness <laughs> that's what i'm gonna say fresh cut lemon and grape zest sweetened by sugar cane yeah if you like your lemons this is a good one for you lemon sorbet we're almost done we're almost done we got six more to go next one is lime and sugar cane oh this is neat i can definitely smell the lime it's lime and sugar cane cooled by an accord of frozen mint frozen mint I guess I can hit I can get a little bit of mint in there it's definitely limey lime and sugar cane I'm I'm digging all the tropical and fruity smells because you know once this winter stuff gets over you're gonna want your house to smell all springy and summery and yummy and delicious so yeah this is it flower child and it is pink hmm. oh i was expecting very very floral it's not like headache perfumey floral but it is florally but it also has something i don't know let's see what sensi says it's a sweet red berries layered over wild gardenia and sandalwood so the gardenia is the flower part that i'm smelling but then i smell i do i do smell the berries so it's it's neat and then again from a sandalwood people it has sandalwood in it so that's a interesting see you can't always go by the name because if I wasn't, if I didn't smell this, I probably wouldn't have ordered it because I would assume it would be a floral, very florally, because of the name of it. But that doesn't always, it doesn't always happen that way. All right, the next one is called Summer Salil. And it is a peachy, orangish wax. Oh my gosh, I love it. Whew. It's very fruity and tropical. It is pineapple and coconut milk topped with fluffy vanilla marshmallow. Ah, that's why. I like the pineapple, coconut, and vanilla stuff mixed together, so that is, that's why I like it so much. And I did smell these before. I had the little testers that we got from World Premiere, but um, I wasn't too sure about them at first, but after smelling them again and again, I'm digging it like I, I'm going to probably warm this one because I like the way it smells. Yeah, pineapple and coconut mixed. Coconut milk mixed with top fleshy marshmallows. That's, that's probably on my favorites list. Okay. Next one is... I was really excited about this scent. Southern sweet tea. That's one of my favorite, favorite beverages besides coffee. You know me, I love my coffee. But I'm also a, addicted to sweet tea. And so I was really excited to get this one. And it's a peachy, orangish color. Now this one surprises me because you when when I think of sweet tea, 
I don't really know. I just get lots of sugar and, you know. This has a very peach tea smell. So, it smells more like peach tea, but it still smells good. It just doesn't. It has more of a peach tea smell than southern tea. But, maybe in the south they like peach tea. I don't know. Uh, it is a splash of juicy peach, orange juice, and white tea. So, juicy peach, orange juice, and white tea. Yeah, I do get a lot of peach out of this. But now that I read the description, I can, I can smell the orange juice too. It's really neat. It's not bad. It's just more of a peach tea than a southern sweet tea. But it still smells good. Alright, the last two I did save for last because they're probably my two most favorite new scents we have. So, Lemon Thyme Berry. It's purple. Purple, purple. And I love this scent. I could, like, smell it all day. Oh, my gosh, it smells so good. Sparkling lemonade and strawberry sprinkled with crushed thyme. That's probably another reason I like, because it's got strawberry in it. That's I like strawberry scented. Oh, guys, this smells so darn delicious. I could just want to, like devour it but you know our wax is not toxic but it probably wouldn't taste very good but it sure does smell good it's lemon thyme berry and last but definitely not least this is probably my most favorite scent that we have new coconut flan and it is a peachy orange color and oh my gosh, myself and Tom, my partner in crime, both th think that this is the best one. That's just our opinion, because there are lots of good ones, but this one is like, oh my gosh, I just love it. It smells so good. It is whipped butter folded with cocoa powder and coconut cream. Oh my gosh, it smells like a big dessert that I just want to eat. It smells really, really good. It's coconut flan. Oh my gosh, I just want to smell it all day. I probably should just go warm it and then I can just smell it in my house. Anyways, so that is our new releases for the spring and summer and they are available right now and you can get them at one bar for five dollars three for fourteen or you can buy five and get one free which is a six pack for twenty five dollars mix and match them however you want get all the same scent doesn't matter however you want to do it so if you want some of these let me know I'll hook you up with an order and we'll get them to you so your house can smell delicious. And, um, yeah. If you are local to me, I'd be glad to bring them over so you can smell them and decide for yourself. Or we can have a party and invite your friends over, get some for free, and then you don't have to pay for them. You get you can get them for a free or discount with a qualifying party. Um, so, yeah. Let me know. And um, I want to thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get updates anytime I make a video. And um, you can go to my website right here. There's my information for you. Um, like I said in the last video, my editing thing isn't working. So, I'm just going to have to do it like this. And, um, yeah.
comment below or share with your friends. Please share. If you don't like Scentsy, which I don't know why you don't, but I'm not going to judge. Um, maybe somebody you know would like to have some. So thank you for all your support. I love you. Have a beautiful, wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.